Good morning YouTube. Welcome to another tech support video where I try to solve more of the internet's tech shenanigans in order to stop you beating your PC to death. In this video I'm going to show you how to stop the SI host process from hijacking your computer's process and destroying your CPU performance. Just a quick note to those new to the channel, when I'm not shamelessly stealing tech support questions from Reddit and making videos about them, I do offer free tech support for anyone who might need it. So if this video doesn't solve this issue for you or you have any other tech support issue, then feel free to drop a comment below and I might choose you for a free tech support session in the future. Right, let's get to it. This issue comes from the user Gucci Gubin over on the r slash tech support where he's having an issue with the SI host exe process or the shell infrastructure host having extremely high CPU usage, up to 60% but constantly at 40% of his CPU at all times. Thankfully he's provided a lovely screenshot so we can actually see what's going on. You can see there the SI host process using 43.3%. The solution to this was posted thankfully uh, in the same thread by the user select input who got the solution himself from the a post over on the hard forum uh, by user Luke TDK and it's a pretty quick fix. It's a simple change of the default application uh, and the issue seems to be caused essentially by the Windows Photo app which is using functions and uh, systems in the background which are using the SI host process which is constantly chewing up that CPU. Uh, and all we're going to do is tell Windows to use a different app to view your cat memes and family photos and that should solve it for you. So all you're going to need to do is down in the bottom left corner of your screen, click on the Windows logo or the start button, whichever you want to call it. And just straight away type, start typing the word default should get this option come up saying default apps so you're going to click that it's going to show you a list of all the default applications now you can change them here by category so for email or for all maps or all music or all photos or if you want to change it individually by file type you can click this link at the bottom and after a short wait you'll get a list of all the different file types and their default applications and some don't even have a default yet so you can choose those but in our instance, we want to change it globally. We want to change it for all photos. So we're going to click back here. We're going to find the option where it says Photo Viewer and is currently using the Microsoft Photos app. We're going to click onto it. <coughs> Excuse me. And choose anything else you have in this list. By default, I'd recommend going into Paint. Everybody will have Paint on there. Select that and that will make now every photo, every image on your machine when you double click it instead of open with the Windows Photo Viewer, it will open with the Microsoft uh, Paint app instead. All you're going to need to do is close that, give your machine a quick restart, it's always better to do that, it might not be necessary but it's always better to do it and make sure the uh, setting takes effect and then see how your performance is going on. You can check your performance by the way by right clicking on the Windows logo, choosing Task Manager. And you can see your computer's performance here and it should be you know, fairly low to next to nothing unless you're running a load of apps in the background. And you can get a view on what is using the most processor by going into the processes tab. And if you click on the CPU um, column here, it'll sort it by the most usage and you should hopefully see that SI host has disappeared for you. As I say, if that helps, please leave a comment, like and subscribe below. If it didn't help, leave a comment and I may choose you for a free tech support session if that's something that you would like and we'll make a video out of it. Most importantly, make sure you continue having a great day. Take care.